pay-per-view. We can get the very latest for you on the future of John Faxton. Gabriel called him before he left the arena. So what makes that big decision for you? Are you considering retirement? Of course I am. Or, you know. or after tonight, do you, do you have more faith in your ability to go forward again? Well, sometimes, I'm 35 years old, you know, and I just think, you know, we'll, we'll see where we go from here, but... What's likely at the moment, John? I think I'll walk away. I don't know. And we both believe that would be the right thing to do. I agree entirely. You know, looking back on the fight, and since the fight's taken place, we've had a lot of reflection with a lot of people talking around the ring, and they're saying, some of them saying, yeah, I think it was stopped. And some of the referees uh, also feel that maybe it was stopped marginally, prematurely. But I think it was the right decision to make. It had it gone another six round, he was badly staggered and hurt. Yeah, there was still enough l l time left in the round for him to get badly knocked out. And, and I, nobody wants to see that. And ultimately, that, you know, when you make a decision, was it the right decision? Was it the wrong decision? It was the right decision because it's stopped it too soon rather than too late. Quick word from you, a quick one on John Murray. John Murray is a very exciting prospect. He's got to learn to be a little bit more versatile, but he's getting there. European title beckons and possibly a world title fight. Cheers, Barry. Always great to work with you. Great to be Ringside. with you, too, Jim. Let me just